right in front of me. I have some really exciting layer ones for the future of crypto, but also for the future of my wallet. So in the previous video, I covered some pretty high risk projects. Well, one of them was not that high risk. The other two were pretty high risk. And I understand not all of you want to take that risk. In this video, I want to share my personal opinion on some really promising looking layer ones coming up for the next bull run. We are looking between 20 and 40 X's for most of these projects, but you gotta make sure you catch the good ones because some layer ones will die and before heading into the next bull run they might just never pump again we saw that happening with other bull runs where some layer ones just straight up died and never recovered so in this video i've got three promising looking layer ones that i want to talk about that i'm looking at buying for the next bull run once again these videos are not financial advice they're strictly my own personal opinions about these projects but of course i'm here to make as much money as possible so now let's talk about the project first we have aptos a project we covered here before it's new but it has already performed very well aptos is a new layer one blockchain and it has printed at least 6x from its all-time low of 3.3 dollars in december 2022 we all pretty much already know aptos and what it's all about it was a really big launch and i pretty much already covered it in previous videos but basically for those of you that don't know aptos is designed to be faster and more efficient than other similar layer ones like Solana. So now we might be asking the question, why do we have Aptos here? And I'm going to show you exactly why we have Aptos here on this list. Looking at the Aptos ecosystem, we can see all of the projects right here. And of course, as I stated right here, we will be making a follow-up video covering Aptos alts that easily can do 100x because this is kind of the secret to making amazing gains in crypto. If you have the stomach for higher risk, then altcoins under a really big layer one can perform really, really well. But that's not what we're going to talk about in this video. This is more of a bit safer gains that you can make with layer ones and the really big projects. Looking at some big news lately for Aptos, we have Aptos deployed on PancakeSwap. This is a really big deal because PancakeSwap has over 3 million monthly active users and I would guess most of you guys have already used PancakeSwap if you're watching my videos. So what comes with PancakeSwap? We have liquidity pools, launch pads, predictions, perpetuals, NFT marketplaces and of course well the best community. I would say the PancakeSwap community is actually one of the biggest in crypto entirely. So for my future price predictions here for Aptos we have a 25x during the next bull run and that is entirely based on the market cap and what could be achieved during the next bull run compared to other bull runs and of course compared to what other projects have achieved like ethereum and some of the other big ones even solana and so on it's not a guarantee it's my personal opinion but if aptos continues to perform this well i wouldn't see why it would not achieve something like this in the upcoming bull run next up on our list we of course have cosmos cosmos it's kind of been hidden behind the scenes for a long while while it is up there in the top 50 projects it's a really big project and other projects are being built through it we covered some projects a few days ago launching through cosmos but i feel like they're not as flashy with how they advertise so it's like big investors are in cosmos but it's not being talked about that much so what is cosmos cosmos is an ever expanding ecosystem of interconnected apps and services built for a decentralized future cosmos is a decentralized network of independent parallel blockchains this is what makes it very different from other projects. In other words, Cosmos is an ecosystem of blockchains that can scale with great interoperability. Basically, before Cosmos, blockchains could not communicate properly with each other. So basically, came in and solved that problem. Most of you guys already know about Cosmos. It pumped in the last bull run, but it is still here, growing, building, being integrated into other projects. And of course, they got some massive features, marketplaces, they are a security provider, they got routers and so on you can do a bunch of stuff like providing liquidity to earn rewards and so on a lot of stuff is being developed with cosmos and as we can see here they got 274 apps and over 64 billion in assets under management so what do we really think it can do in the previous bull run it printed 25x but a lot of changes has happened for cosmos since then but also for crypto in general we got cosmos sitting at place number one with 3.2 billion dollars in market cap looking at some some of the top projects we would be looking at 20 to 40 x meaning cosmos could easily be put with a market cap between 50 and 200 billion making it a 20 to 40 x on a big project like this i would say that's a pretty good deal third on our list we of course have solar sxp i just made a video covering this project in more detail 
So I'll just basically go through what it does. It is a blockchain, but also a foundation. The Solo Blockchain Foundation is a non-profit organization dedicated to supporting the SXP blockchain and related technologies. Solar is very active. They provide new updates continuously and so on. This is half a year ago. New core updates, donation on protocol levels, exchanges, partnerships, updating their ledger app. So they're constantly evolving, providing new stuff. A new WebSocket API has been created, which allow users to access features of our blockchain easily. Heading over to the roadmap, I have summarized it right here. There will be the Solo Foundation testnet, desktop wallets version 2 and version 3, SDKs and libraries, side ledger protocol on testnet and mainnet, staking features, swapping from ERC20 to BEP20. There will be mobile applications, web wallets, solar decks, solar metaverse, alpha and beta, and of course NFTs. But all of this I've pretty much already covered in the previous video. So check that out if you're curious to hear more about Solar SXP. Some more cool things here. They introduced a solar card. The solar debit card is the ultimate solution for seamless transactions between crypto and fiat banking. Checking the solar price today, $0.6 and checking back on the graph right here. Not only did I say that it's an easy 20x, but I actually believe it can do much more than that. But of course, it's very depending on how well they perform and how well they deliver their actual products. Checking back here, we can see that it peaked at $5.2. If it just goes back to the same place, we're looking at an easy 10x from here. But as I talked about before, in the bull run, a lot of projects grow at the same time, meaning just during a bull run, I think it would easily do a 10x. Heading in for the future, with all of the products released, we would be looking at a 20x, possible 40x. So there we have it. We have Aptos, Cosmos, and Solar. Some really big players developing layer ones here in crypto. Please let me know what you think in the comments down below. And as I said, I'll be sure to cover altcoins for these layer one solutions that we can see easily do 100x's and so on in the upcoming bull run. Thank Thank you guys for watching as always and I'll see you guys next time.